applied a thin layer of soft ochre by MAC and I'm just going to be going in with the Maybelline 24 hour tattoo this is in the shade of turquoise forever please excuse my horrendous eyebrows I still have not got round to doing them um, all I'm going to do is just pop some of this onto our eyelid any further than in our crease just because I want that really gorgeous pop of colour to remain in one place. Don't worry about it being too messy because of course that's where we'll blend it later and you can almost like swerve brush like that just to get a really nice angle. From here I'm just going to be picking up this very light creamy colour and using this as our transition colour. I'm just going to be popping that into our crease area. It's very, very warm toned, so the idea is that we're going to be building up the colour here. And then going in with this cranberry colour, I'm just going to be popping that into our crease area. Give that one big blend, just make sure that's all blended together. And then hopefully you should be able to see some of the cream shadow joining together and then picking up a more dense brush I'm going to be going into this like maroony colour here I think that's maroon anyway what I'm going to be doing is tilting the brush upwards I'm going to be popping this into our crease I feel like that, that the colours are joined together pretty nicely just give that one big blend with your fluffy brush just to make sure all the colours are packed together Picking up a combination of these two colours here, I'm going to be popping this onto our lower lash line. By the way, sorry, this is the Starry Eyed um, Shadow and Blush Palette from Barry M. This is limited edition, but I do believe you can still get this. I'm just going to be taking the blush colour from here. It reminds me of ALF Sunset Eyeshadow and a mixture between Sleek's Rolls Gold uh, Blush. Middle part of our eye. Those two colours are blended together. And then picking up Juxt from MAC. A really, really pretty like sea green colour if that makes sense. It's absolutely stunning. Next I'm just taking this ALF Precision Liquid Liner. And all I'm going to be doing is just lining my eyes. going to do because we did lose some of that blue colour. I'm just going to take this Glam Crystal from Collection. This is in the shade of Le Freak and I'm just going to pop a tiny amount of this just above our liquid liner. So I'm just going to use some mascara and then after that I'm just going to go in with my, my Urban Decay Urban Lashes. These are the black velvet ones and because this look is going to be really dramatic with the eyelashes, uh, if it's something that you don't like, then of course use some more thin, natural looking lashes. But because I'm halfway to pretty dramatic, I'm just going to go the full way. Okay. This is what they look like. They have kind of like feathers on top of them. By the way, this one's still drying. I literally just wrestled with my eyelashes for a good... 20 minutes I would say. But anyway for the lips I'm going to go nude and I'm just going to be taking Max Honey Love. I'm going to be taking some of the Bare Minerals lip gloss in iced champagne and I'm just going to be taking like the tiniest amount in the middle of our lips. was my funky um, makeup tutorial I guess you could say. Uh, you can change the lashes because these are actually starting to irritate my eyes and I don't think they photograph very well either because they have like this layer of feathers almost. So it's not going to photograph very well but of course switch up the lashes to your choice and yeah so thank you so much guys for watching this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!